you already do. Brand of the fake bitch. And you're not here to go do some shit like that. So she was like, you know what, all y'all plastic, I said it. And Tiffany, I hate when people try to get bucked with you. And then like they realize that they realize that they ain't got nothing to get bucked with. So then they wanna buck down. Bitch, Tiffany, you should just stay on that. Nobody wants you to come up talk about some, oh, I'm plastic, and then she's gonna step and accept her title as that. I see you became a little late. Like, don't, don't be calling me plastic for lying. Don't be calling me plastic, bitch. And I was just kind of but she was like, okay, I'm plastic, go sit down. Duh, we know you plastic. Malai has emphatically said it, calling all y'all uh, plastic. What What was you trying to achieve by saying that, that um, you're plastic? You thought she was going to leave your ass alone? No. She was like, come on, plastic, and went on with it, and went on with the day. So, and look, another man's called by Brandon. The fine one. Anyway, so. Took Faye to the, to the house and all this kind of stuff. I really didn't like the surprise that they did. I mean, like, why would you tell them about the surprise in the parking lot? You should have been like, you know what, Faye, come to our house. Oh, let me show, let's show y'all our kind of chill house. But y'all been telling her the parking lot? That, that, that's what surprised me. That's that was extra. So, continuing on, I guess everybody had, uh, had a whip of what was going on between Kay and Brandon. And so I'm not getting ahead of myself. They had a whip of what a whip of what was going on between Kay and Brandon. Chris was, see, this is what I like about Chris. He'd do anything to get his, to get his damn laugh. Like, and there'd be times that don't uncall for it. Like, he'd be doing, he'd, like, he'd do anything to get his damn Like, he thinks she was so funny until it happens to him. But we ain't gonna go in on that right now. We're going in on this. Fresh play. So, he was like, you know what, is it true or not? This is she was like, no, 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 it's not true. Brandon was like, you know what, you're a dirty ass slut bucket. Slut mud. Uh, you're a fucking trap ass bitch. Like, you the, you the, you the, person, you the pure personification of a slut. Bitch, your legs wide open like Trina. And things like this, uh, this, that, and the fourth. And, you know, she was like, you know what, you're a liar and all this kind of stuff. Lies like in those bitch. Da, da, da. It was, it was like, it was, she was saying too much. If, if it was me, I was like, you know what, Brad, shut the fuck up. You're mad because you ate me out. And I didn't want to else to get, let them do what you like. That would have been, been like, not this motherfucking flow. That would have knocked the shit out of his blood. He would look at Ash and uh, That's how I would have did. But she, like, played into it. Cause, like, when you, do, when you go in on, when you go in on, when she went in on Brandon, it kind of makes you look guilty. I'm like, you're a liar, you're a liar, you're a liar, you're a liar. Continue going on. And it continue on to the house. The, uh, the season of starting beer is in with the finale. Now, let me, let me just say this. I did like the, well, I really did. I give the finale three stars. I give three stars because BET, they hyped it. They hyped up the finale so much. Like, it was going to be, uh, it was going to be a drama field episode because the only part of the, uh, the finale that they aired was a snippet of the fight. And then this, uh, this is why I still think that the show fake because, like, Okay, they were just, okay, let's just, let's start from the beginning. Tiffany was having a, um, a rally up at, um, I think it was called Mad Madness or something. I, it was something with a madness in it. The last day madness, I don't know, maybe. Um, if y'all know this comment. So she was having that, and she wanted, uh, she wanted her roommate to come. Then yeah, on top of that, Kyle was on the phone, Milan used to call her mother in reference to a doctor's appointment, I believe. And Milan, here you go again. You cut, she does, she does not know how to talk to people, she wants her. She was like, you know what, Kyle, get off the phone, um, it's not important. She was like, you know what, I have to call her mother about something serious, but that's disappointment. And I think she's the phone for two minutes, I don't think. And then, um, he could have been like, um, you know what, I believe Kyle would have been like, okay, sure, Milan, up here. But from the way um, Milan came in here, when she was talking about some phone calls, not important, obviously, and that was kind of stuff, I would have came, I would have came with her as well, and I gave her the phone. So she was looking at Chanel, and when Cal ended up with the phone, and she did not waste her time, what, 40 minutes, 20, 30, too bad, mama, too long, too long, like, and both, bitch. So, he went on. It was the day of uh, Tiffany's met um, um, rally at her school, and then this was all like, if you come to see me do what I do and do what I love, don't come drunk. And then I, I understand why she was like, okay, Shane and Chris are gonna be in the same room. Okay, you're not dating Chris. You're making yourself look guilty as like as if y'all got down behind behind camera or something. So you saying that was like the wisest thing ever. So she was like, Shane and Chris are gonna be in the same room. So then what are you nervous for? That's not Chris that's your daddy. Step daddy, step on, what are you definitely? This is your roommate. Why would he be there? Why would she, why would why would, why would he be and why would you be nervous? Sound as well. Sounds like you like a picture of shit. 
stuff went down and you didn't want to write another about it. But because so anyway, um, they kept writing and Captain Chris came to him. Uh, I believe Kyle, uh, uh, Kyle and um, Kay came. I, I'm not sure if Paul came. I don't know why they came. But I don't want to hang with the plastic. Are you sick? So they came and then and this, that, and the fourth. Watched her do what she do. She do. Then the drama took place in the car. Brandon was going on. You know, like, I cannot stand, like, okay, it's obvious that Brandon's a pretty boy. I cannot say that what a pretty boy is going to act like. They still have horn, like, they can watch people get shot, and all this kind of, bitch, you not, you're a pretty boy. So how has, how has that happened? It seems, it seems to me that you have had almost everything in your life handed to you. Because every pretty boy that I know had, uh, have, uh, like, uh, have two incomes as opposed to one. Big house. And, uh, always fresh. So when the, when were you on the street? If you if you were ever on the street, it seems like you would pretend that you would be trying something that you're not. And Chris was like, you know, if this fake bitch get on my nerves, I'm gonna call. I'm that he's gonna call his bluff. And, and then plus, plus Randy was just going on and on. Nobody was looking interested in his fucking boring ass drunk ass conversation. Like it was obvious that they want you to shut up. Like when I'm talking and everybody looks like that, I was just like, you know what? Let me shut the fuck up. I'm probably gonna fuck up with the dumb ass ass. So let me just let me just let me just tone down now. But this bitch wants to turn it up. Like uh, the millionaire just had to keep up going on and on and on. He was he was in Chris's ear. That that would that would that would be easy to Chris to get snap like an incredible hawk on that ears. So the ground was like bitch, shut the fuck up with him. You squeeze a block, probably never. The only thing um Brady has ever squeezed is a basketball, which he sucks at. Bitch, talk about some music you play up in the um, NBA, but your skills are like luster, sound, and shit. So. He was like, you know what? Bam, 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 bam. Hit Tiffany in the mix on accident. He hit that bitch hard as hell. I would have pissed off over there. He was saying, right in the back of his head, just to get back at him. But she was like, oh, hey, bleeding. And I was kind of stuff, and he said she hit Chris. Brandon, and this is why I started to think the show fake. Because, like, you know, we all know good well, if he were going to hit Brandon, he would have been hit. But it didn't seem like he was hitting Brandon at all. It seemed like he was hitting Brandon's hands. I mean, like, come on, man. Like, I don't like this stupid shit. See what I say? So the guy the car, still trying to fight. Brandon was uh, contained up in the car. Chris was outside. Uh, police had sh- magically showed up. There's that fucking word again. Magically. They magically showed up. Making me get the shit's plan. Uh, pulled up out of nowhere. Uh, a, a few people were outside, but some two people I know were outside with Chris. Um, Chris. Um, Cal and um, Tiffany came out. Uh, I guess the police thought uh, Cal was a song brand which was not the case at all. Tiffany, uh, they thought that was the rape of Tiffany beating her ass or doing fucking Megan Williams on her ass or some shit. Totally wrong. Uh, Cal was talking about some weird talking about me like I'm a fucking animal, like I'm a fucking bitch. Did nobody see that shit? And then he was one of our crazy like David Banner. She's like, bitch, you're not David Banner. This is not that. Stop trying to act like it is. This is what it ain't. Went home, Brandon was taking off his shirt and stuff, ready to wait on Chris like you dumb cunt. They're not gonna bring Chris right to the house because obviously they, they think they're gonna fight again, you stupid ass bitch. Stop trying to show up for the cameras and stop trying to show up for the girls in the house. You already, you already know the girls don't give a good time fuck about your ass either. Stop showing, I can't understand that show up. Not DJ, uh, oh, you such a show out, but nobody like it. Nobody likes you when you show up. Continue on. Oh, uh, I was disappointed when Chris and Brady made up. I honestly I wanted to throw those again the last time. They uh Chris came home, they kicked his ass out of the house because I was thinking I'm like this is the last episode. So it was like three days left. You might as well let the bitch stay around uh, a little while longer. That was extra dumb on their part. And then he came back with a final dinner, which was which was which was nice and all this kind of stuff they had a good time. But uh in my opinion, if I was in the house couldn't deal with Brandon fake ass. Couldn't deal with Paul fake ass. Yeah, and that's, um, Cal, you was, um, you was extravagant, but you did leave, but, um, you did make yourself known. My, and overall, my two favorite people in the house were Milan and Kay and everybody else. I, I would give the season a four and a half. I would give, um, Atlanta a four and a half, um, as well. Because, like, both of them tied up, but like, we'll see if the next season could break it. As much as they did. Y'all have just rolled the Maverick. This is Maverick signing off.